Did you know that Jesus in the Bible literally tells you why some people can't grow in their faith? Like they get stuck, they get hindered, they get hampered. Jesus breaks it down in Matthew chapter 13. So if you feel like that's you, if you like struggle to open your Bible, if you struggle to have deep relationships with other Christians, if you're struggling in your relationships, check this out because Jesus breaks it down. And he does so in this story where he basically says, this farmer goes out to scatter seed. Some seed falls on a path and the birds come and devour it. Other seed falls on rocky soil and it springs up, it gets all excited, and then the sun comes and scorches it because the roots couldn't go deep, and all of a sudden the thing dies. Some falls among the thorns, and the, and the thorns go and choke out the seed. But others fall on good soil and produce grain, some a hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. He who has ears to hear, let him hear. Do you have ears to hear today? Because what Jesus is saying to you is, listen to this. My word, the seed that's going out, if it falls on a path, if your heart is hard, guess what's going to happen? Satan has legal grounds to come and pluck it. He has rights. So what do you need to do? Don't go to the thorny soil where the cares of the world choke it out or the rocky soil where it has no depth. You get excited about Jesus and then it fizzles. Get your heart soft. And how do you do that? Man, it takes work. It takes cultivating. It takes, you know, uh, breaking up the ground. And if you need help doing that, I have a full ministry that integrates spiritual disciplines with mental health, therapeutic principles, the links in my bio. Why? Because when your heart is soft, the Lord can use you and, it, and he can yield in your life more than you ever could have asked or imagined. So go make your heart soft. Get humble. Go get support. Do whatever it takes so that that seed can go deep and so that fruit can be born in your life all for the sake of the kingdom of God and for your peace and for your joy.